new happening now. Students and parents will see more security at all schools in Haines City. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella joins us now live there with the steps police are taking to keep the kids safe. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Lauren and James. So what they're going to be doing is putting a police presence in every single one of their eight schools here in Haines City, and that will be with the help of the Florida Highway Patrol. They announced this all on Facebook late last night. Now this is as many school districts uh, across the Bay Area are looking to make changes in light of the shooting in Parkland. Now yesterday, a panel of Gibbs High School seniors in Pinellas County told U.S. Representative Charlie Chris that they were going to feel more comfortable with more lockdown drills so they know what to do in case of a real threat. Mandatory and random lockdowns, it could prevent anyone who has a weapon to cause harm. The school resource officers will easily find, find the ones doing harm and stop them before any damage could be done. And this comes as the Florida Senate is now moving forward with the bill that would put more money toward mental health programs for students. It would also raise the minimum age for gun purchases to 21 and impose a three day waiting period. It could also potentially allow teachers to be armed in schools. The House, though, has yet to vote on their version of this bill. Now ahead at 530, we're going to tell you about the move Sarasota County schools are now making to try and keep kids safer in their schools. Reporting live in City this morning, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.